Prime Minister Ranil Vikramasinghe today took oaths as Sri Lanka's finance minister, a role that has largely been avoided by most parliamentarians these days. Given the uphill task faced by the country's finance minister at present, it isn't a position most people would rather touch, even with the proverbial barge pole. Even the opposition seems to not be too keen on taking up the challenge without complete control over policy through a national government and key changes to the executive. With progress on debt restructuring talks having hit major delays in terms of confirming the appointment of key financial and legal advisers to represent the government, Sri Lanka's road towards any financial assistance from the International Monetary Fund has had a very late start. It was just yesterday that French financial adviser Lazard and UK law firm Clifford Chance were approved by the cabinet and will be just getting ready to begin engagement with Sri Lanka's creditors. However, any initial progress is still weeks away. Speaking to Reuters a day before taking oaths as the finance minister yesterday, the prime minister offered some hints into what his main priority will be. With the interim budget, it's just of cutting down expenditure, cutting to the bone where possible and transferring it to welfare. We know it's going to be difficult, that's why we are looking at relief, at least a two-year relief program. There will be interim budget. We cut off all the development work and put more money in. One is to ensure that we can pay the higher interest rates and secondly to ensure that there's more money for the affected people. But that alone won't do. So we will have to look at some help from our friends abroad, ensure there's sufficient food. We will require more rice. There's going to be a shortage of flour globally. These are some of the issues that we will face here. We have no rupee revenue and now we have to print another trillion rupees. So you just you can see how inflation will have an impact. We are working out our strategies, speaking to the friendly countries. China is now coming with some assistance. I think they are giving money to get medicine. I hope to meet the Chinese ambassador next week to have further discussion.